Hey guys, hope y'all are doing great today. Welcome to part six of this week's food forest tours. Hope everyone's been doing well. Here's a European plum that's kind of paused its growth. Looking really good though and healthy so far. It looks like the main shoot's still growing, so that'll probably continue to grow up. Also this side shoot down here is, looks like it's growing too, so hopefully that'll fill in some of that. This is the pool that I finished last at the I think I had it had started partially filling up, so you can see after one week and a good rain this week. There's some kind of bug that looks like they're skiing on the water. Oh, oh, they're, oh yeah, they're down at that end. It's kind of really neat just seeing all the life that's coming into these ponds. It's filled up. You can see it's at the edge from all this rain, so looking really, really good and nice and full. You can kind of see the the outline of the layers right there just in the water where you know it gets it kind of steps down into the the third section right there so looking really good and filled up these ridges right here were planted with the summer seed crops they um they were planted kind of after the cool weather crops so they don't have any of the cool weather crops but you can see these mounds were planted with the cool weather crops and the summer crops you can see some of the squash seeds and the other stuff growing right in there. Got some good healthy growth coming up from the bottom of this European plum. Working good so far. This little mound right beside it is planted with the summer crops as well. Looking good. These are the blueberry transplants taken from the mother. It's got some nice blueberries forming right there. Looking good. The apple tree is sending up some really good vigorous growth from those branches right down there at the bottom. And the tops are just starting to get growing, looking good. Blueberry on the other side of that apple tree is looking really healthy too. It's got a cluster of blueberries also. This is the mound next door to it. It does not have a fruit tree growing, but uh, I will plant it out with some of the cool weather crops. Kind of get an easy close up view. There's some peas right there, some good lettuce all mixed in and it looks like the, I've seen some of the beets look like they're coming up in a few of the places so that looks really good too and one an encouragement you know to this people doing this for the first time which is which is kind of me <laughs> basically um, you know creating these pools and features in the food forests and um, you know holding the water in these ditches um, if you mess up you can fix it 99% of the time or um, at least most of the time, <laughs> but um, you know, if it messes up, you can just start all over if you have to. But um, you know, this was a this ditch I originally had coming from, it came from over there, and it took a bank right here and went in between these mounds and flowed into this pool. But I decided that I wanted it to flow just directly into that pool because it was. It seemed like it was going maybe just a touch uphill right here and I kind of wanted to really have growing room all right in there. It just, it just made it easier honestly. I was, as I was digging this part of the ditch I just took the soil from right there and plopped it right on down in here, filled it right in. You, besides it being look, looking like new soil you know you can't even tell really that it's it, it there was a thing there and um, even the side of the pool right here on the food forest you know I was able to pack in and fill that back in so no harm done so just change that now it flows directly into that pool instead and easy to fix not really fixing it I guess just changing it but um things are easy to change if you if you do something wrong you know you're gonna learn from that mistake and you're gonna do it better next time and you can't learn unless you do you're gonna you can't really do well unless you make some mistakes and you learn from them, fix it, and move on. <laughs> this is a seedling apple. This is the smallest one right here. So I'm gonna, when I make this ridge right here, I'm probably actually gonna dig that one up, um, probably really soon, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, so digging that up should uh, not be a big deal since it's so early in the season. And I'm just gonna dig it up, basically raise the soil up and plant it right into the new soil. So hopefully it should do good. Blueberry's doing good right there. Coming all out of that cage, I need to probably remove that because <laughs> it looks like it'll probably be pretty 
um, protected. And honestly, the deer really, I don't think, will be over here in this section with all the pools and ridges anyways as much. That seems to help keep the deer out. The apple tree in the middle right there is looking really good. <laughs> this is the video of Apple Mountain that I made. Just uh, put a lot of soil up around it, and it's looking really good. Got lots of really healthy growth coming out right there. Check out the elderberry. It has just really just rocketed off. You know, last week I think it was barely kind of looked like this section right here, and then this week phew, that vigorous shoot just shot up. It's got all these super healthy, nice looking branches and just growing like crazy. And the deer have left it all alone. Thank you, deer. <laughs> This is the cherry right here. It's looking like it's doing okay. It's starting to leaf out a little bit. Nothing much happening yet for this one. After just one week of being planted, the blackberries are really already starting to put off some new growth. Looking really healthy so far on these, uh, especially on the ones that were these bigger plants, which were really nice to have those bigger ones. I mentioned, you know, the other ones were kind of little dinky plants that were you know look like they came from like a um just a small cells you know like planted in like a little cell block and they were barely growing out of the soil at all so but these ones with the larger stems are doing really good especially and the other ones are too they're just gonna have some catching up to do but looking really good with the blackberries so far so that is very good news as i would love to have some blackberries next year you can see this mound's been planted out with the summer crops. Got a Japanese plum right here looking really good. Kind of two main shoots on this one, just going to kind of let it do its thing. And um, they should kind of fill in, and it looks like they're growing really well so far. This is a little smaller ridge, kind of just to change things up. And also, too, because I partly ran out of soil here to put, and it was kind of a low dip, so it required a little bit more soil, but uh, it's planted with uh, the summer crops right there so hopefully they'll be coming up soon this one is also planted with the summer crops apple tree looking good got some new healthy growth coming out right there this is what the smaller blackberry plants look like can't remember i've showed them before so yeah a whole lot smaller than uh the other ones <laughs> so uh hopefully they'll do okay and uh Definitely going to take them a, quite a while longer to catch up there to the other ones, I'm sure, with the other ones being just, you know, uh, you know, I don't like to plant super big plants, but I don't like to plant, you know, two-leaf plants, you know, either. <laughs> it's uh, it's nice for them to have just a little bit of growth, you know, to, to be able to be transplanted and do well. Hoping to plant and make this bridge bigger, um, hopefully soon, hopefully this week, and be able to get some stuff growing um, this is doing so well I may not make this section bigger I may make it just big enough to um, this would be like a future fruit tree mound actually I think I had made this before and um, yeah the cucumbers are just coming up like crazy right in here so um, you can see there's like there's two right here one two three four up oh, there's five that six actually I think I can't yeah I can't tell actually I think that's just a yeah I think that is one sprouting right there so a bunch of them are coming up and doing really good so I'm probably going to leave this at that height and I, as I had planted it out with some of the summer crops I don't think I had done it thankfully planted down here so I'll probably raise that up to to close to the level as the middle is a little bit higher just kind of getting a view from the side it's lower right here so I'll probably build the soil up to kind of match it right here together and then I'll probably build this up a lot higher next year once everything's done growing or probably this fall or winter the seedling apple this is the biggest one right here looking really good already put on about five maybe six inches of growth already looking super super healthy this was the biggest out of the three that were transplanted. Just looks amazing just for one year from seed. Looking really, really, really good. Little service berry right here. Looking really nice. Starting to get some leaves coming out. This is the bigger service berry right here that we transplanted just a little while ago. 
Got some leaves coming out and looking really good so far. Got some new growth continuing right there. As in, looks like all the sections are putting on new growth, which is at least up top right here. So that's really good to see. This is the other seedling apple. It's got some new growth starting to just come out. Just getting started, but looks really good so far. Um, and then... And in the middle, uh, the fruit tree in this mound is the apple tree. And it's looking really good, putting on lots of good growth. It looks about five or six inches, maybe actually more than that in some places. So that's really good to see. It looks like it's doing really good so far. Hopefully it'll grow a whole lot of good, healthy growth this year. And we'll uh, have some apples next year. That would be awesome. There's the grapevine right in front. Looks like the wind has knocked it down. With these, we had some crazy wind this week. So I'm just gonna take it up and it's hooked onto the fence. And try not to break it off and do this one-handed. There we go. That little hook right there. Kinda attach that right onto that branch. It'll probably, you can see it's leaning over from, the new growth is kinda leaning over from where it, where it had fallen over. But that should correct and it should just start sending up the new growth once the sun comes out tomorrow as long as it'll stay there i may have to tie it to the tree just to get it started but it's looking good and hopefully that will put on some good growth soon and do really good it looks like it's already grown about four inches or so so that's exciting to see next door this mound's been planted out with some of the summer crops Hopefully they should be coming up soon. So has this little ridge right here. Looks like this one kind of all washed together a lot of it. And so some of the seeds are buried. Some of them are still laying on top though. The mound below this apple tree has been planted out with some of the summer seed crops. Looking healthy so far. Let's go see if I could find the areas. It looks like it has successfully fought off the powdery mildew which is awesome because it was really bad uh, just uh, a couple weeks ago here it is right here you can see it will completely eat into the wood like that but this tree is really healthy looking looks like the mound is helping give it some wood draining soil and it is fighting off the powdery mildew booyah <laughs> Uh, I don't know if any of y'all have seen Emperor's New Groove, but that's a funny movie. Looks like it's still got a little bit left right here. This spot was really, really severe last week. You can see it's got a wound right there, but it looks like it is a lot better. And that is the only remaining section on the whole tree. You know the other apple tree beside it, it had that powdery mildew spot too. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yep, this apple tree has successfully fought it off. It was a tiny bit, I think it was on this very front branch right here, if I'm remembering correctly. No sign of it, just a ladybug chilling on it. <laughs> so, uh, yes, that is so encouraging to see. So, if your fruit tree has something, as we, as I mentioned, it had the same thing with, like, canker on a cherry that was really, really bad. And, uh, it was all over a limb that it was, it was tearing up, and... It completely healed itself and I am I do see a tiny bit of powdery mildew at the very top of the tree but I'm thinking that should heal over it pretty easily since the rest has so that'll be interesting next week to see if that is going away or gone or getting worse but I am pretty sure hopefully it will be getting better just like this other one has so far over here at the black locust it's looking really good and healthy love the way this tree looks so cool this mound right here beside it it's been planted with some summer crops mainly in that top section i hopefully fill in some uh, a ridge over here towards this side and connect it to this apple tree over here summer crops seeds have been planted down below it starting to put out some growth looking really good and healthy so far just getting started Thank you guys for tuning in to this part of the video. I will see you soon in the final one.